The purpose of this video is to inform the viewer of the proper steps to adjust a UV lamp in a T-Series SO2 analyzer running NumaView software. For this procedure, you'll need the following equipment. A potentiometer trimmer or small flathead screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver. To get started, begin by turning the instrument on for at least 30 minutes. Then remove the screws holding the top cover in place. And remove the cover. After allowing the instrument warm up, then press the dashboard on the front panel until the UV lamp reading is displayed. Next, we're going to loosen the thumb screws to allow the lamp to move freely. When adjusting the UV lamp, make sure to hold on to the heat shrink portion of the lamp and not the very top. First, slowly move the UV lamp up and down while monitoring the UV lamp display to reach a mask maximum value. Next, slowly rotate the lamp left and right, again for, to, while monitoring the UV lamp display until a, a maximum value or peak value has been achieved. Tighten the finger screw until it is finger tight. N now, adjust the UV pot, reference pot until the UV lamp reading is approximately 3500 millivolts on the front panel. If the UV lamp will not adjust to 3500 millivolts, then you should plan on replacing the UV lamp soon. If the UV lamp display is lower than 1600 millivolts, then it's recommended that you replace the lamp as soon as possible. Although most UV lamps can still generate accurate readings with the UV lamp reading above 600 millivolts, the instrument will no longer be able to produce a gas concentration reading if the UV lamp goes reading goes below 600 millivolts. The next step is to calibrate the UV lamp. To do this, press the following buttons on the front panel. Utilities, Diagnostics, and Lamp Cal. The analyzer will then display the current UV lamp reading. Press Calibrate and then yes to get started. Once complete, you will get a success message. Now press the home button and then dashboard to verify the UV lamp readings are correct. Finally, replace the top cover of the analyzer and return it to normal operation. After following these steps, you will have to perform a factory calibration on the analyzer.